Hello everybody, I am back. I have said yesterday that I have a backlog of toys that I have not opened up and it makes me sad. So I am going to get cracking on these and hopefully have more of these out and uh, have zero views on yesterday's video, which I don't care because I am doing this because I love opening these toys and playing with them. And so hopefully maybe someday more people will care. But even if you don't, I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. As you can see behind me, I've got a whole bunch more. I've changed up the perspective a little this time. We'll see how this works. You can't see the table, but you were seeing way too much of the table and you weren't seeing enough of the toy before. So it'll involve me holding things up more. Nonetheless, today I'm going to open up a Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Infamous, infamous, boom, infamous Iron Man. This is what happens when Victor Von Doom decides to become Iron Man. So, let's get started. Um, it's pretty cool art on the back. Well, these Walgreens ones, they typically are their own one-offs. They're not really part of a line. So you get some really cool art for just that in individual character. Um, I have been a fan of most of the ones that Walgreens has gotten as of late. They either tend to get Fantastic Four, which is why we're getting this infamous Iron Man, or they've been getting some really cool X-Men figures as of late as well. But with the Fantastic Four, they gave us the entire Fantastic Four. They gave us Silver Surfer, and they are all awesome. I wish they would have been their own lines and build a figure into thing, but buying thing for 20 bucks alone was pretty nice. Um, they've also, at Walgreens, like I said, they've been bringing out some X-Men ones as well. The Mystique and Magic were both just excellent figures, so you should go get them. Nonetheless, Walgreens does tend to get a lot of their own originals. Um, oh, this has got the newer packaging where there's not any plastic on the cardboard it's just its own little clamshell inside this so that's kind of nice easier for me to tear apart when I'm recycling it um, kind of weird that I guess they're going with the A Avengers logo on the background of that um, according to the back of this package and I don't know a ton about infamous Iron Man but it says once one of the world's most evil villains Victor Von Doom has changed has a change of allegiance and assumes a new identity as the tech-powered hero Iron Man. So apparently he's more heroic, whatever. I like uh, Victor Von Doom being Doctor Doom. And if he wants to be Doctor Doom in an Iron Man suit, so be it. Anyway, here we go. Victor Von Doom. Oh, we got three layers of plastic here. One is the cover. One is obviously holding it in, but then there's actually one in the back because his cape is a separate piece. Which I kind of like because sometimes when they put the cape through the back here, it makes it very hard to get out. So, we've got Victor Von Doom in his Iron Man suit. We've got some sort of arm lightning effects. We've got some repulsor rays to come out of hands. And he's got a couple different pairs of swappable hands and a separate head. So let's get down to the toy itself. All right. He's got his hood. got his cape so he is indeed Victor Von Doom. Look at that cape underneath this hood. That'll sort of hold it on in place. Looks amazing. You know, he sort of looks like Iron Man but he also looks like Doctor Doom. A little bit of both, best of both worlds. Um, it's got an ab crunch. Let's take the cape off. Sorry. Yeah it looks like the hood The hood seems to be actually attached to the helmet, which is fine. It's got an ab crunch, it's got a waist swivel. Doesn't have a lot of motion in these arms, it looks like, or is that just tight? That might just be tight. Still not a ton of motion, but very typical Marvel Legend male arms, double jointed elbows. It's got a thigh cut on the leg. Normal leg, hip joints, double jointed knees. 
on a swivel rocker sort of thing. All very nice. All very nice. I want to pop off his head real quick because the first different thing I want to try is the second head, which is in there. Pretty quick. Duplicate head, duplicate, alternate. Alternate's a better word for duplicate. Man, it is not what it go on. My goodness. This is being a real turd. Well, we know the swivel on the neck works pretty well because it keeps moving on me. All right. So we're going to have a headless Dr. Doom here pretty soon. Let's just see if this goes back on. Yeah, that one went back on quite well. Whatever, here's the duplicate. Alternate, alternate. Looks cool. Um, pulse arrays. You can just pop right into the hand, bam. Look at that. Uh, it looks like, let's give this a try, yeah. Sort of loose in there, but can put these in. The, yeah, they're sort of loose in there. I think they're more designed for the hands. There's little peg holes in the foot, but they seem to be just a bit bigger, so those things tend to drop off. So we've got the repulsor hands, and he's got a fist on the other arm. Basically, we have matching alternate hands as well. So we can have two fists, two repulsor hands, or whatever combination you want to make of those. And then finally, we've got the good old-fashioned lightning type effects that wrap around arms pretty nicely. We'll give this a go, see how he looks. quite a bit especially with his fist he looks like he's about to punch somebody with a super punch let's see how they look with the repulsor blast effect arm a bit more magic than just the typical iron man huh Victor Von Doom has his ways of doing whatever he tends to want. Looking forward to seeing him in the Marvel Cinematic Universe at some point soon. Let's see how these things stay on with the cape on as well. Because I really do like the cape. Feels more Doom that way. Under there, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little bulky, a little bulkier than it should be, but nonetheless, um, all in all, I think it's a great figure. If you are looking for him, you know Walgreens can be hit and miss when it comes to their exclusives. Some of them sell out really fast. It's very hard to find uh, a lot of the good ones. <laughs> That they put out because once they get put out they get purchased and a lot of times people just go in and buy a bunch of them to sell on the secondary market because they know that these ones are awesome so if you want an infamous iron man i'd probably try and get him sooner rather than later um, because he goes really well with the rest of the fantastic four 
including the Silver Surfer. Uh, I'm really glad they did this. I wish we would have gotten a proper Victor Von Doom. I hope at some point down the line we still do. But nonetheless, this is a pretty awesome figure all in all, and I am glad I own it. And hopefully you are glad to have watched this. I am Mark. This is Mark's Toy Box. You can follow me on Instagram as well, at Mark's Toy Box. All one word. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.